Testing, 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 yeah, yeah. Look at me test, you can see that I'm testing. This is cool. So I can't see my reaction, but I know it's actually capturing it. Well, I'm pretty sure it is. This is the test, all right. Where's my soundy sound? Test number three. <laughs> These, my headphones look ginormous, but trust me, they. I'll probably be talking louder because they block out kind of a lot of sound and um, they are really powerful bass and everything so it'll be really fun. Testing, testing, test here because I seem to be having an audio issue. Yeah, it's not. It's not playing that audio. I didn't realize that when I plugged in the headphones it changed the output. So let's make sure real quick. Okay, it's working. Introduction. I'm watching Hunt for Red October. Uh, I actually found this, uh, I went to uh, Big Lots and it was there for like three bucks, I believe. Here it is. And I just laughed. I'm like, oh my gosh. I, I mean, the whole scandal with him. And I've been meaning to watch this one for a long time. So uh, I've been never, I've just never been interested in submarine stuff. But everybody says, obviously, it's really good. And I've seen a lot of reactions pop up on my screen, you know, for that. And I've just never been able to watch them because I've never seen the movie. So, um... Yeah, let's get into it. In November of 1984, shortly before Gorbachev came to power as a Typhoon-class Soviet subsurface, it then sank deep in water, apparently suffering a radiation problem. Unconfirmed reports indicated some of the crew were rescued, but according to repeated statement by both Soviet and American governments, nothing of what you were about to see ever happened. All right, sorry about that. Why isn't that stuff going away? There it goes. Yeah, I love this shot. Mm. Peace are over. Not sure if he's speaking Russian or what. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's Dr. Grant. <laughs> I was just thinking, man. I wish I'd right. seen him in more things. Mm. Very cool. That's pretty crazy. Okay, yeah, so it's so loud for me, but I think you can hear me. Hunt for Red October. Oh my god, Tim Curry? Alright. <laughs> Scott Glenn. James, what? James Earl Jones. James Earl Jones. Jeffrey Jones. Devlin Skarsgård. Is that related to the Skarsgård people? And Courtney B. Vance. I'm oh, sorry. Also starred Larry Ferguson. That sounds actually kind of familiar. You're supposed to be upstairs sleeping. I can never sleep on a plane. Turbulence. I Pardon? sleep on planes all the time. Turbulence. Solar radiation heats the Earth's crust. Warm air rises. Cool air descends. Turbulence. I, I don't like that. You can sleep anyway. Mm -hmm. The screen's like flashing every now and then. Hopefully that doesn't happen too much. I had to download this off of the Blu-ray because my Blu-ray player apparently doesn't play Blu-rays. Got it working. Central Intelligence Agency. Jack boy. There he is. Up in here. Darth Vader. Jesus. You look like <laughs> hell. Thank you very much, Admiral. It's a great voice. So how's Caroline? And Sally. <laughs> She's the Red October, the latest typhoon class. What are these doors? Are the problem. I don't know what they are, neither do the British. Clearance? Top secret or better. Satellite caught Red October in Pollyanna Inlet this morning. Well, this is water, yeah. I almost thought it was the sky, but it's pretty cool. I, it's probably CG too, but...
Kind of scary. That's pretty good for back then. If a biologic. A what? A whale, Omar. A whale. <laughs> a marine mammal that knows a hell of a lot more about two six nine. And let's try it again. Oh, he gets to ragging on you too. We don't have time for sea stories. I was right in the middle of teaching. See, man, Beaumont here, the intricacies of modern sonar. Now, yeah. I'm a big way. Full visual here. He figures his whole boat around. It was Paganini. Whatever. It was Paganini. Look, this is my story. Okay. Tell it right now. <laughs> Pavarotti is a tenor. Pa Pavarotti. Pavarotti. <laughs> Come out their asses. Jones here. What do I do? I got it. What do you got, Jones? Could be a missile boat out of Pagliani. That looks familiar. Okay, start the your track. I'll be there in a minute. No, no, right. Oh, he's the guy in uh, Training Day. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, So it's only subtitles, so that's kind of strange. It's crazy I can smoke it. Maybe I can play subtitles. And the seventh angel poured forth his bowl into the air, and a voice cried out from heaven, saying, It is done. A man with your responsibilities reading about the end of the world. And what's this? 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 Guess I froze it. And what's this? I am. It is an ancient Hindu text. This book belonged to my wife. I keep it for sentimental value. I'm sorry, Comrade Captain, your wife. I'm only doing my job. It is my responsibility. I'm very confused. Full of luck, though. <laughs> Strategic submarine forces red and rendezvous with Kanavalov. Captain Tupolev's boat. You know Tupolev? And that he was your student. Cool. Well, I evaluated the operational readiness of the Caterpillar Drive. We are to return to Polyani on a historic moment. I should like to make a request, but would you permit me to inform the crew of our mission? Oh, oh shit. Sure. Damn. So he's like a spy or something? What the? Where I am going, you cannot follow. <laughs> Report to my cabin immediately. There's been a dreadful accident. Cool visuals here. You want to come up here and do it yourself? All right. You can get it anywhere in the world in 24 hours. How's your back? It's fine. This, this could be a caterpillar. A oh, hydrodynamic propulsion. You follow? No. Jet engine for the water. Goes in the front, gets squirted out the back. Only it's got no moving parts, so it's very, very quiet. Like how quiet? Doubtful our sonar would even pick it up. And if it did, it'd sound like a kind of seismic anomaly. Anything but a submarine. This isn't a mock-up or anything. She put to sea this morning. You're right, Captain. Just to die from something as petty as slipping up tea. You cannot go on without a political officer. We do not cancel operations because of accidents. Come here. Come here. Huh. I want you and the doctor to witness this. I'm removing the political officer's missile key, and I'm keeping it myself. I think we should report this to Red Fleet Command. Our orders are for strict radio silence. This is most unnerving, Captain for having two missile keys is so that no one man may arm the missile. 
else. Perhaps I should keep the key. Thank you, that'll be all, Doctor. <laughs> Captain, when I address... I will try to forget your comments when I present my report. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Come in behind his propeller and he's deaf as a post. Great so far, though. Very tense. No contact, sir. Scope is clear. Good. And it is time I explain our orders to the crew. This is your captain. It is an honor to speak to you today. Once more, we play our dangerous game against our old adversary, the American Navy. For 40 years, your father... When the world trembled at the sound of our rockets, will tremble again at the sound of our silence. Engage the silent drive. Doors open, Captain. Comrades, our own fleet doesn't know our full potential. We will leave our fleet behind. We will pass through the American patrols and listen to their rock and roll while we conduct missile drills. The only sound they will hear is our laughter. While we sail to Havana, where the sun is warm, so is the comradeship. Biogenic plant coming up. We sail into history. You see me What happened? I Wow. Sword of contact, American. American Captain. Is the American turning? No, Captain. Can't hear us. Let them sing. Isn't weird they're tilted like that? Running diagnostics now, Captain. The Russian disappeared. I thought I heard. Heard what? I thought I heard singing, sir. Singing? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> He's hesitant to say that. I hope we had a lovely evening. Yeah, yeah. Show me this morning. Ten glasses, too. I got a line on those doors. You know what they are? A nearly silent propulsion system. Where are we going anyway? Briefing. Who's giving the briefing? You are. Mm -hmm. The yeoman will have all the slides, so what you got to do. <laughs> Look, give them direct answers. Tell them what you think. Come on. <laughs> the Red October, roughly the same size as a World War II aircraft carrier. Would you characterize this as a first strike weapon? Uh, that is a possibility, sir. Orders to find Red October and sink her. Sink her? Oh, my God, they've got a madman on their hands. 500 miles on the coast, we'll have less than two minutes more. Oh, shit. Oh. What? Today is the 23rd, isn't it? Yeah. You son of a bitch! You wish to add something to our discussion, Dr. Ryan? <laughs> Ramey has trained most of their officer corps. would put him in a position to select men willing to help him. And he's not Russian. He's Lithuanian by birth. And today is the first anniversary of his wife's death. Possibly know what goes on in this mine. Here, I actually met him once at an embassy dinner. Have you ever met Captain Ramius, General? <laughs> That'll be all, gentlemen. I said, speak your mind, Jack, but Jesus. <laughs> what do you suggest we do about it? 